ladies and gentlemen, I need you to make some noise for Mr. Roger Craig Smith and Colleen O'Shaughnessy! Hello! This is what happens at cons. You see friends, you get to chatting with friends, and it's hard to walk away, so I totally understand. No, it's not. We're here for you. We are on your time. Hello! How are y'all doing this fine Sunday? You guys having a good time? We are having a great time. Excellent. How's the show been for you? This is this is the key thing. This is where we're judging all of you and your fandom. How's the show been for you guys? I mean, I've never done a four-day uh, mention before. Okay. <laughs> yeah, same. Uh, that means that your fans have been plentiful and you're tired. And I like that. I like Super duper tie tie. Oh That's my god. Good. That's good. But amazing. Like <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's, he's sleeping uh, right now. I'm just gonna be honest. Roger's in a mood today. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> a punchy. There it is. I'm a just, punchy. just FYI. We're about to get a little dark Sonic action. That's what I'm talking. <laughs> about. <laughs> Instead of Q and A, it's just gonna be everybody lines up and we arm wrestle. Just one at a time. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me see. Let me see where we're. Um, no, I'm not going near you. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on. No, no, no. I'm just saying. There was, there was a fan yesterday, Denzel, who has like arms the size of my head. <laughs> and he was like, no, why don't we just flex like that? And I was like, You're like really? I don't, I don't want to. Of course, yes. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. Okay, so we got to start things off talking about Sonic the Hedgehog as a video game first. So where were you in the console wars? Were you team Nintendo? Were you team Sega? I got to know where you were. What are we going to say if we're up here like representing Sonic the Hedgehog? Sega. I know. You got to be authentic. Yeah. yeah. One of the coolest things that you were brought over to the Sega side oh. by how oh, like amazing the, like Sonic is. Like Star Wars, Wars stuff. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you, you were Team Sega? Sega. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Commodore 64. Yes! Okay, man after my own heart. Safe I, liked, I liked Fronger and, <laughs> um, and Pac-Man. <laughs> Pong. <laughs> Number munchers. That was me right there, okay? I love me Boop. some math. I wasn't allowed to have consoles. Boop. Really? I didn't, I didn't have a console until, like, little, like, until like, I moved out. Out. Yeah. Like for. Deprived. We had in television when I was little, but nothing through high school. Like I had to go play like all my friends, Segas and Nintendos wow. at their houses. Yeah. We had an Atari. That's how so. damn old I am. <laughs> one Remember of Pong? One of a, yeah. Bloop. Yes. Bloop, 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 bloop. I think that's literally why our generation loves the DVD console piece when it when it's playing on the, yeah. the screensaver because it's like Pong. That's what it is. Absolutely, absolutely. Space Invaders. <laughs> now we're really going back. Now we're really going back. No, I love Astro it. Smash. <laughs> Television. Just yeah, I look crickets in the crowd. You know, we're just going to Coleco. That's what we're doing. I like that. You guys um, are googling in television. <laughs> <laughs> See, back in my day, we had Atari and in television. <laughs> we and used Atari's to graphics were bad. We did. We did play with rocks, actually. That was, we had pet rocks. Um, cable wasn't that good back then. It didn't exist. Um, no. So when it comes to being voice actors, um, obviously that generally starts with being an actor first. So when did the bug first bite you? We're very serious people. We are Wars. actors. Without a doubt. Actors. Yeah. And scene. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, for, me, for me, I was I did musical theater. Okay. And so, yay. Yes. Da, yes. Da, 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 Your tribe da, is here, da, 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 da. right? Um, so I was in, I was doing musical theater, um, and I was at the University of Michigan, and I was like, I don't want to go to New York, and I didn't know what I was going to do, right. and I always just kind of did voices. I, I did them like, you know, we had Saturday morning cartoons, and I would go around, Captain Caveman! <laughs> that was me all over the place, and why are there so many? I don't know why I was, I was Kermit the Frog, I was Fozzie the Bear, like, <laughs> wonderful thing about Tiggers, the Tiggers are a wonderful thing. Um, <laughs> anyway, they all so, still live in you. That's they what I do! Love. Ooh, they're everywhere. It's, it's, it's very loud up there. Um, anyway, so somebody overheard me and was like, you need to do voiceover. And I went, yes, I do. And so I moved to Los Angeles and um, bugged everyone Love possible Love it. until they said, fine, okay. But it took a long time. But it was that's that once I heard that, that was all I wanted to do. And I did try to do on camera stuff and yep. other things. And and I was like, it's too much. It was like like nothing was getting 100 percent. It was like I was just split too thin. I was like, OK, at the end of the day, what do I really want to do? I want to do voiceover. That's well, all I wanted to do. So. Make some noise for that, y'all. Come on. That's awesome. Yes. Roger. 
She's still bugging people to this very day. I am. I still do. Please, 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 please. My story is not as glamorous. I, I actually did musical theater as a little kid when I was growing up as well. I did. I was in the musical youth artist repertory theater and. Please, sir. Orange I want County, some more. California, yes. Were you Oliver? Lil Abner. We did uh, Sound of Music. Uh, yeah, I was Pappy Oakum. We did Wizard of Oz. Tapioca. Tapioca. Pappy Oakum. Pappy, Pappy Yoakum. I Yoakum. think you should have been Tapioca. It was Pappy Yoakum <laughs> in Little Abner. He's the, he's the, he's the old guy. Uh, yeah, did, did, so I did all that kind of stuff. I was I was completely directionless. And then I, outside of uh, high school, I was going to be a drummer. I was going to be all these different things. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll try anything and everything. And then I found myself into stand-up comedy and was doing that for about five years. And I kept hearing more people in stand-up telling me, like, you know, hey, you, you sound like you got a voice for radio. Are you a DJ, this kind of thing? And, no, no, I'm just I'm doing stand-up. And they're like, yeah, but you should think about this voiceover awesome. thing. Then I'd be like, but I'm doing stand-up. And then, <laughs> and then finally, we were, there was a group of us that were trying out for the Aspen Comedy Festival, and the woman that was there to evaluate us, said, once the audience left, we all get back up on stage, and she says, you, this, and you, that, why are you, and you, why are you doing that? Too short. She gets to me, yeah, exactly. Too tall. <laughs> she gets to me, and she goes, who represents you for voiceover? And I was like, nobody. And she goes, huh, you do a lot of voices and characters. You should look into that. And said nothing about my stand-up. And I was wow. like... I finally was like, well, there you go. That's the professional telling me, stop doing this, go do that. So, yeah, my, my, what bit, the bug that bit me was being a terrible stand-up comic. And, uh, and then I was a screenwriting major and all that stuff, and I, I, was, I was trying to develop a screenplay, had something in development, but at, the, that time, at that time I started getting some sort of like progress in the voiceover world, and right. suddenly I went, well, they're paying me to do voices, <laughs> and I've done five rewrites and five meetings and like, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of hours of rewrites and that kind of thing, and not making any money over here with screenwriting. I thought, I think I'll go over here. This is kind of nice. I think I'll like listen to what everybody's telling me, like, stop trying to do that and <laughs> go do this. And that was the bug bite. No, I love that because it's it's the classic hero's journey, right? You try to deny it for as long as you could, but then you get to a space and place well, and like, oh. You know, you're right. I am a hero. I do what I do, people. Let's go. I am a hero. Absolutely. You it turns out I'm a hero. <laughs> All this time, who knew? I thought I was just a terrible stand-up, but I'm a hero. <laughs> That's the way it is. There you go. Okay? That's I, the one bit of advice when people are like, what's the one bit of advice you would give us? And I was like, suck as a stand-up comic. <laughs> You'll become Sonic. That's how go. that works. <laughs> Comic to Sonic. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh man, that that works. You are, you are. Uh, for day four, you are on fire. Thank you, and thank from you. Thank suck you. to Sonic. <laughs> You're my hero. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. But okay, so obviously getting this this gig and having the uh, the background that Sonic has, this huge character that so many people love. Am I right? <laughs> yes. To, to join this this kind of franchise, what was that experience like? Did you have to audition a lot, or was it something where you went in there, you nailed it, and they were like, Sonic and Tails, million percent? I just kept bugging everybody. <laughs> and I, <laughs> no, Well, I didn't come into the world. I actually started doing Charmy for the games before I um, got to do Tails. And so it was an audition. You know, I auditioned. I went to the callback, and it was for Sonic Boom. Right. And I didn't know at the time that it was going to include the games. I had no idea. I, I never know. I never know anything. I'm the last to know everything. Like, I don't. My husband's like, why don't you ask more questions? I'm like, I don't. I don't know. They just said yes, and so I showed up. I don't know, because they said so. so. I don't know. So I didn't know, and yeah. so I was there. And funny enough, I was at the callback, um, and Kate Higgins was there. And I didn't, again, I didn't know that she played Tails. And so we chatted, because I was like, wait, wait, wait. You, oh, oh, no, no. And she's like, oh, no, you do it. They don't want me in. I don't know. And she's the sweetest, and I just love her to pieces. And so she was, because I was like, I won't. Don't even don't want to touch this. go in there. But um, she said, no, she gave me her blessing, and so we went in, and then I got it, and it was um, it was so cool because we actually did a table read. I don't know if you remember that. We did a table read for the first episode of, of Sonic Boom, which was so fun. And a table read, a table read is when you go, you come in, and instead of like just standing us in front of the microphones, we actually sat. I, I don't know. If we, I mean, there might not have been a table. We might have just had chairs. I don't know. But we were re <laughs> we read the, the script picture. like like we were like reading a play. It was really fun, I mean, and you don't often get to do that for voiceover. But before that, we did a game first. So like, oh, by the way, we're going to do the game first. And I'm like, oh, that's like a bonus. Who knew? But I really didn't understand the the you know. The I didn't, context or fullness of it. The weightiness. Like, I really didn't get it. I really didn't. I, I, honestly, I really didn't get it until we did that Sonic thing in New York. 
when we went to that thing in New York, they, they brought us out for this, they, I guess Sega does like a Sonic the thing every yeah. year or something? Sh- anniversary maybe something like that and so they do these like events and it was in New York and they brought us out out there and and I just didn't and someone like set one of those big encyclopedias on the table and was like boom and I and I, <laughs> I didn't even know he had a name <laughs> I knew nothing I'm Jon Snow I know nothing <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing but what that means though is that what you brought was truly authentic you got to make it yours right out the gate dumb luck <laughs> <laughs> or genius, okay? That's all I'm saying. See? Or incessant I, I'm bugging. A geni- and see? Just let me be tails, let me be tails, let me be tails, let me be tails. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> I love that. I love that. But did you understand huh? your hero ness? Did you understand the. Oh, well, the- I actually just called up Sega and said, You're welcome. <laughs> I'll. <laughs> I will just show up and do what is this this needle mouse character I'll I'll just go ahead fine no we auditioned I auditioned as well it was a hard process like I mean well I I don't know I mean like auditioning can be super fun and sure. it was like and this was no exception and 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 by that time I had known a lot of the people that were sort of involved and so it was kind of like walking in and they were showing footage of like what Ryan had done and Jason had done and Julio had done and at up to that point they were showing like old footage of things and kind of going this is the character that you're auditioning for this is what's been done this is right. what we're thinking that kind of thing but we're going to take that and do something different with it kind of thing so it was you just don't tell me anything play around <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> And then I just started bugging the director. I was like, let me be Sonic, let me be Sonic, let me be, you know. And it's like, no, it was, it was, it was, I mean, that's why when, it's so funny. This is why when people say like, why did you make that choice? And you go, I didn't, didn't. I'm I'm a hired gun. (laughs) Like I, I have to listen to a director and a writer, you know, like, why did you change your voice for Frontiers? I'm like, I didn't, they did. They asked me to do that, you know, that kind of thing. So it was, and the audition initially was the exact same thing. It was like, walk in and they just go, this is what we're thinking. This is what we want to try. And you just go in and you start throwing vocal clay against the wall and hope that something sticks. Of course, of course. Now, I do believe that we, we are going to be open for fan questions. We got the microphone right here, so you guys can start to line up. Be careful, don't run. Careful. Don't run. It's a Sonic, no running. I know, ironic. Get all the Amy's. Ironic. We end at what time? Two? Uh, yes. Two, yes. okay. So we'll try to. We'll try to keep your questions short, yeah, and we'll yeah. try to get to everybody. Make How about them that? Sonic questions fast. Yes. <laughs> Gotta go Ready? fast. While you, all the other folks are lining up, we're going to start with you. Hello, friend. How you doing? Hello. All right. Uh, any fun boom uh, experiences? With None at all. Boom was boring. <laughs> the question was, did we have any fun boom experiences? No, it was a terrible, it was just a slog. Every second of it was. Yeah. <laughs> and it's amazing we got it. anything recorded. It was In the show, you can just tell. We didn't have a good time. Oh, it was no comedy was made. It was, there are, what, too many, I mean, oh my gosh. There's too many stories. Oh my gosh. Too we, much fun. We laughed our faces off. Seriously, yes. my face hurt after those sessions. Yes. And and our director was just like, do your Jack, because it's perfect. Oh, Jack always gets on the microphone, and he has a very low and very calm <laughs> demeanor. And so he would start off by saying, I have some ideas about what I'd like you to do, but I'm going to let you do that voodoo that you do <laughs> so well. So well. <laughs> and then we'll circle back, and if we have to get any technical things covered, we'll do it at that time. So... Do what do you do? Nice. And then we go in and <laughs> make all these sounds and do our thing. And yeah, it was, I mean, literally, when she says we would like be hoarse after that, there were so many times we were laughing. And just like, just to, just to have like that ability to play in the Sonic universe like that. And I mean, you know, episode number one, it's like, you know, Eggman blows up his layer and needs to crash at Sonic's pad. It's just like, brilliant. Comedy Hilarious. ensues. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Fun. yeah. We had a lot of fun. It's awesome. Yeah. Thank Super you. fun. Thank Great you. question. Thank you. Hello. 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 To see you uh, the past few days. You guys are so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I had a question. Um, so there's a lot of memes. What's your favorite Sonic meme? Man, the weather here in Raleigh is hot just, and yeah, sticky. it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> lovely weather. Well, see now you got to be careful. You just said hot well, and sticky. Said, oh. That could be a meme for all we yeah, know. It could very well. Like but, already. Yeah. <clears throat> Congratulations. No, I. Uh, no, I have no thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I, what are memes? I don't know. Oh, these. good. Exactly. Good I, don't, pivot. I don't know. Good yes. pivot. Yes. No, yes. Deny, deny, deny. What's yes. your favorite one? I was just going to say. Oh, careful. Never, never ask no, that no, question. No, no, no. Too late. No. Too late. The no. 
Do you have a favorite? I like the one from Sonic Boom where Knuckles is a feminist. Which was amazing. That's amazing. There we go. There it we go. Which is amazing. Like and testimony to the writers and the work that they did that just being yeah. so top notch that it was just like all of a sudden that blew up years later, you know, and we were like dying laughing again. And it's like, there we go. I saw that like when the episode came out. So that was fun. That's nice. a much better meme than what I was fearing you might answer. So thank you. See, there you go. Good answer. Yeah, if we get so into the much. fan dubs as memes and it's like, ah, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> let's just move on. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 I've seen y'all a few times at your tables. Oh, thank you. I still love you guys. What? I, Despite having still, seen us? Still. Even after. I, I, even after. I've been to your tables table. and I still love you. That's how you know you're good. <laughs> I love you no matter what because, you know, I'm Amy. and Sonic. I know. Thank you. I know. <laughs> That's another meme. But, Careful. Um, first, I just want to say um, if since Cindy's not here, Cindy Robinson, please tell her that she has really changed the role for us, for Amy, uh, like fans and all that. We love her voice. She's incredible. I think you just Aww. did. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Big but shout out. This is going viral. My question is, may I offer y'all chaos emeralds in this trying time? Whoa. Aww. Can you throw them? Let's see. Hang on. Oh, oh. Oh, God. There's a okay. lot of them. You got to catch them yeah. all. Oh, 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 yeah. You want to have mine, Tails? Like purple. Look at that. That's amazing. It's Green chaos and a ring. Color. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. That was well done. Thank, Thank you. you. It's because I tried to catch it with my left hand, yeah, yeah. and otherwise I totally would have caught both of them. Oh, sure. That's fine. You don't even know how good at catching I am. First try. <laughs> Nailed it. I didn't have my mitt. What are you going to throw at us? <laughs> oh, God. They're throwing us gifts. Pressure is on. Tomatoes. Well, I'm planning to throw a question. That's about ah. it. Well done. Nice. well done. Well done. Well done. I want to start by saying I love the work that both of you do, and I have for a very long time. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what was it like adjusting to that more serious tone of Frontiers? Hmm. Uh, you know, for for me, it wasn't at, like I didn't feel like I had to change too much as far as the character for Tails. Um, it was more situational. Like I didn't like I didn't have to do as dramatic a change as a little sky. Um, <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, for me, I, I, it always feels like any character that you are doing, whatever you're given as far as the script goes, and whatever circumstance your character finds themselves in, you know, like he, you know, did he have to kind of I don't know, grow up a little bit? Sure. sure. Um, but I didn't feel like I had to do, I didn't have to like really like wrap my head around it or anything. Like I just was like, oh, okay. And you know, Jack is an, is an awesome director and he gave me the lowdown and the script was so well written. And so it just, and what I loved about it was more dialogue because there wasn't a lot of, you know, in previous games hasn't been a lot of dialogue, not a lot of story, you know? So um, for me, it wasn't, a, a, it wasn't too hard, but. I don't know, because you, like, you got super mature. <laughs> like, he grew a mustache or something. Yeah. It, got, it got serious. <laughs> Ooh, Sonic with a mustache, no. <laughs> and now the memes begin. Coming now. Uh, Coming now. Fan exactly, art galore. Yeah. Sonic yeah. stash. <laughs> <laughs> now you've Hashtag named it? Sonic stash. Yeah, that's happening. Yeah. Got to grow fast. <laughs> um, yes! <laughs> It was well. There you have it. Like, like I default to like going back to colors and things like that. So when I walk in, I'm. But this is literally how voiceover goes. This is why, like I say, when people say, "Why did you make that choice?" I say, "I didn't make the choice." And and it's testimony to what we did with Frontiers. Is I walked in, you know, going like, "Hey, we're doing Sonic." I mean, you guys. Have, maybe there's a video that's been going around where I was saying like, you know, "Oh, we started up here and then we did this and we did this and then this and this," and uh, and that was Jack just saying, "No, no, we're we're doing something a little different." When we started recording for it, it was like, "Oh, wow!" You could tell from the writing was very different. You could tell that what they were doing stylistically was going to be different. And I, I think it was a brilliant choice on their part because I, I think if Sonic was up here and kind of still doing that sort of thing, it would have been maybe a little too playful and it wouldn't really have lent to the gravity that right. that needed to be there for the story that they were telling. So it, it was very surprising, but really cool. My fear was that it was like they were going to like, oh, Roger's getting old. He can't hit the high notes anymore. You know, wow. I was like, oh, they're going to think that. But no, I think the fans understood what we were doing, you know, right from the get go that it was going to be a very different, more dramatic. And it's so funny to be a grown man, like answering a question like this and going, well, it was a very serious Sonic. <laughs> it was a very serious, grounded, talking blue hedgehog. 
<laughs> were a giant man also with a huge mustache. Very fast. Yes, that's right. Yes, built himself a robotic like daughter, and you were just like, what? What do we? You know, a serious, <laughs> serious moment. But um, no, I thought it was. I thought it was a neat thing. It's like, that's our job. We show up. We're hired guns. We we do what we can to kind of execute for our director, who has the ear of the producers and the client and all that kind of stuff. And that's that's the process of voice acting. And all of a sudden, I was like, whoa, all right, we're we're doing something different, which will be really neat. And then fingers crossed that the fans receive it well, and it seems like it, it worked really well. So, yeah, Absolutely. it was neat. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your kind words, too. Thank you. I appreciate you asking that question wearing a Super Mario shirt, though. Like, I just want you, I want to shout you out on that one. It's all love, okay? <laughs> seriously, like, that's a good one. Hello. No, but seriously, security? <laughs> <laughs> What rings and chaos emeralds did you bring us? Hello. Hello. Okay, security. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm Tyler, and I just wanted to throw a question for okay. you. Okay. Okay. Throughout the Sonic franchise, there have been many characters that have seemingly been forgotten and lost, like 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 um like um Cosmo from Sonic X, and 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 there have been some like Team Sonic has come got has come up against some really some really nasty monsters mm -hmm. like Dark Gaia. We got Mephiles and 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 Iblis, and we got we got the Metarex. So I gotta ask, how would you feel if maybe they were adapted into the movie universe? Oh, that's interesting. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> That's the joke that I would answer in the movie universe. It's like I'm not in the movie. No, I'm I'm open to whatever. I, again, I know nothing, so I can't. Sure. <laughs> um, I, the, you know, I feel like the people that create these things um, are smarter than me and know more about it than me. So. You know? That's and because if you you're not there? asking questions. That's I, I know. I'm supposed to ask questions, and I never do. <laughs> I got you. I, I hold my questions to the end, and then it's too go. late. If you could have any of those forgotten lost characters in the movie universe, in the cinematic universe, which is another weird thing to be saying now. So right? We've got, like, <laughs> the animated universe, we've got, you know, we've got the Canadian Pride. It's just like, in the cinematic universe for Sonic. Ooh. Suddenly I'm doing Shatner. Would, uh, <laughs> would you? Yeah, don't tell him I did that. Oh, uh, tell everybody. Gone. It's Who would you, would you bring back? Cosmo. Cosmo, okay. Nice. There you go. Nice. Somebody right. gasped when you said that. They're like, <gasps> and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Tails fought Shadow to protect her. She deserves to make a, to make a, to make a grand return. Did you know there that? You go. No. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect me to Fingers know? Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, I was too busy looking for the fourth chaos emerald. I couldn't find it. Ah. Oh. Ah. Dang it. Uh. But um, my question is, besides the characters you've already voiced, who would you like to switch roles with, and could you give us a little bit of that? Whoa, whoa. Mmm. <laughs> Because <laughs> I want to be Dave the intern. <laughs> oh, wow. You're not my dad. <laughs> I want to be Ben Schwartz. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> no, who is a lovely, lovely, unbelievably brilliant human being. And so there's, there's honestly, no, there's no bad blood there and that kind of thing. But no, I don't know. I mean, I would attempt sticks, but I couldn't even come close to that. No. Right? There you go. But no, I couldn't do that. You kind of got to try now. Now you have to. Oh my to. gosh. You put it out there. Day four of like, you know. Yeah, that's right. Standing at a table going, hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <Call that. clears throat> Sticks! I can't. No, that's, that's <laughs> fun. No. We like that, yes? Yeah, there you go. No. Come on. No, don't. See, listen. That is literally the definition of a smattering of applause. <laughs> that, was, that was very disingenuous of all of you. It was horrible. You were doing Dark Sonic sticks. joke. Sticks! I can't do sticks. I, I can't. Yeah, yeah, sticks, but... Dave the intern, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. No, I did. <laughs> Favorite line out of that entire series at a, at a boom was like, stop telling me what to do. You're not my mom's boyfriend. <laughs> like, yeah, brilliant. Really messed it up. There's so much darkness in that line. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like a lot of subtext going on there. Layers. So many layers. That's good. Thank you. Great so question. Much. Thanks. Hello. Uh, Hello. I'm sorry, I'm nervous. Um, I would, my question is, like, during the recording of Sonic Boom, do you guys have a favorite line that you voiced? I literally just said it. <laughs> uh, yeah, he already did his. Um, 
I have a favorite episode, which is rare for me. Okay. I am not about favorites, except for my favorite color, which is purple. Aww. Um, but I do have a favorite episode. Um, I liked Tails Crush, because... Um, oh. Well, and any, well, I guess I have more than one favorite, because any time we did doo was just... doo doo is back, y'all. We ain't whack, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Any time we got to sing. episode was my favorite. Yeah? yeah. Awesome. Boom. In the trunk. Something like that. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, my rhythm, gosh. The they can sing it. Like, they were ready for you. Like, Do we uh, remember it? Along total? At the yeah. rhythm. Doo 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 is back, y'all. We ain't whack, y'all. <laughs> like, at, yeah. It's like, yeah. The rhythm, the funk. Trunk. There, something there was a little, like, a little rest there. Like, yeah. Look at the rhythm, the funk. Unk. Yeah, yeah, I can. That's it. We need a script. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> script and our director. No, no, I think uh, my. And, and Cindy will fix it in post. Yes, exactly. <laughs> She'll fix it for all of us. Uh, one of my favorite moments, too, was uh, obviously the, the, because that was a moment with Jack as well, where the line was, you know, like, I'm coming in for a hard landing, Tails, you got me covered? Roger. And Knuckles, who's Roger? And then I look at Jack and he goes, I look at Jack and he goes, go ahead. <laughs> I just said, he's talking to me. Thanks, buddy. You know, it was like, and he's like, all right, are we going to go with that? And they're like, that's kind of what we wanted to do. And I was like, absolutely. And they left it. It was amazing. Yes, it was great. Became one of those, yeah. That was a fun. That's the, the playing around that we got to do. It was just like, it was a Who's blast. Who's Roger? <laughs> Who's Roger? <laughs> yeah, that might have been my favorite, yeah. That's good. That's a good one. That's a good question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, do you guys ever, like, play any of the so other Sonic games or, com or read the comics or uh, watch the cartoons? Of course. Yeah. Which, yeah. Which, then which one's your favorite? Any, any of them, like, games? Every game since 2010. <laughs> Sonic Boom. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wreck It Ralph and Ralph Breaks the Internet. Uh -huh. Those are good ones. Those are good ones. Very No, I mean, I look. I was a kid in the 90s. I grew up like playing these games. Like it's 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 uh, like it's mind blowing to be in a booth next to Jaleel White for one. Right. Like for me, it's like, and I'm sitting there kind of going, I was playing that game like in high school. I remember like walking by a Circuit City. Hey. You know. <laughs> Do all your children know what a circuit city is? Know what a circuit city um, is. And like seeing the the demo for for Sonic the Hedgehog playing on like this, and I'd never seen a video game move that fast. I mean, like literally, like games were not that quick. Sure. And then all of a sudden, it was like you were just watching. It's like, how do you play that? How can you even react that quickly? So, yeah, played those games, and it's like, yeah, play. I try to play as many things as we're in as possible. Makes sense. Yeah. You want to have a feel for it. Yeah. Colleen. What about you? Pong. Atari. She doesn't play anything. She doesn't play anything. Oh, I, we, um, er, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, also, starting out, I'm terrible at video games. I'm just really bad at it. Um, so, um, they gave us, uh, like a Genesis that had all the, the cartridge that had all the old games on it. So I had um, my friend who's in his late 30s. I'm like, come over and teach me how to play these things. And, and the controllers, I'm sorry, there's too many f buttons. <laughs> there's too many buttons and half of them do the same thing. So how am I supposed to know which button is going to do the thing I want it to do? We had one button. <laughs> like we just banged on the button and then you had a joystick. That was it. It's too many buttons, and I don't know how to do it, and I'm really bad at it. But I tried. Um, so we played we played Sonic 2, and I played his tails, and I was like, go faster. He was not fast enough. Like, uh, I'm sorry, he can fly. How can the pointy thing still get him? He can fly. I'm like, go higher. And I'm. it's just. This sounds like a podcast where it's like, you know, this has been this week's complaint with Grandma <laughs> Tails. <You know? laughs> Oh, there's too many buttons on your controller. <laughs> I had the Back one button. Back in my day, I, I could only push one button. That was to make was him a jump. Wooden stick that, that was to make him joy. go. <laughs> and everything's getting too dang fast. I'll tell you this. Sonic Colors has been my favorite game ever since I got it. Thank you. Thank you. And no copyright law in the universe is going to stop me. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. 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 Um, my question would be, if you had to spend one day with the character you voice, uh, what would what would you do if you were oh. to hang out with him? Oh, wow. Man. 
would you do? Yeah. I, I'd make fly. we'd um, well fly for sure, yeah. But um, I, I invent something. Let's invent something. Oh, that's fun. a good one. Yeah, and hopefully it works. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Eat chili dogs, I guess. I mean, <laughs> eat chili dogs, yeah. Play video games. Yeah, play video games. Eat chili dogs. Hang out on the beach. You know. Go super chill. fast. You can go super fast. Come off. Yeah, exactly. I'm coming to hang out with you. Like, there you go. Every, right. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna do a lot of work inventing things. Like, no, eat chili dogs and hang out on the beach. That's where you do it. It's good choices. It is yes. good choices. Good choices. <laughs> oh, that's true. I guess. Oh, yeah. That would have been a better answer. I would hang out with my best buddy. Hey. After you're done eating chili dogs. With those two butts and fly through the air. Coming up next on a very special Sonic. <laughs> My buddy. <laughs> My buddy. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh oh. I'm fine. A, I should definitely follow your motto, um, Colleen, motto? about bugging. Yeah, about bugging. Oh, about bugging. Yeah, because um, I just yeah. graduated college, so. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Start bugging. Let the bugging commence. Yes. Right. I am. But nicely. Of course. Okay. Okay, so my question is, what is your favorite line from Sonic Colors or any of the games? <laughs> That's a good Sonic! <laughs> Classic. I don't. I don't remember these things. <laughs> it's oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> Give me one. I'll say it. I don't know. That does happen. What's What's one of your favorite lines? Okay. Hmm. This is Mike Pollock, but I might be saying it wrong. I like the part in um, the sweet one, the sweet level of Sonic Colors, when he's like, "People sat on that with their butts." <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. One. Take it away. Take it away, Colleen. People sat on it with their butts. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. I, mean, I think I just, I mean, it's no copyright law in the universe is going to stop me. Like, that, that's just like, I'm looking at the line going, are we sure about this? This is what you want me to, <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to like, they're going to break the fourth wall. Okay, yeah. right, that's My fine. favorite was the sushi one. What was the sushi one? I don't remember by heart because it's been so long, but I just remember. Then it's not your favorite. <laughs> yes, it is. You are lying to everyone here. <laughs> If, I'm kidding. I'm just playing. <laughs> what was the suit? Does someone in here remembers the sushi line from Sonic Colors? Oh. What's the sushi Amy line? Rose. Uh, who wants an extra large clobber on top of everything? Was that the one? I guess. It's been so long. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Who wants an extra large clobbering with a hefty side of everything? <laughs> <laughs> It's close I wish I could remember the sushi line. Sorry. It's okay. It's yeah. fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. He became an old oh, British man. <laughs> I know. Exactly. <laughs> I was it's in Churchill. I'm, I'm going like, to butcher it. Otherwise, yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. That was my original choice for Sonic. Oh, yes. oh, 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 Dr. Eggman. <laughs> yes. I'm going to do a spinach dash. <laughs> Hey, hello. Hello. Um, hello. I have a question pertaining to like the Twitter takeovers that you do occasionally. Like, okay. how are those done? Like, are they scripted or do you guys do improv to the answers or? It's, com it's completely AI. Uh, we're not even we're there. not even there. Um, yeah, no. Uh, no, it's, this is an amazing team that, so we show up and they give us, you know, they give him coffee and I get some tea and then we have snacks and we sit and chat while the other people are furiously <laughs> fielding questions and writing scripts and then they send them over to our iPad and we and we do it and we just read the we just read the lines sometimes there's a little bit of improv um <laughs> she says that. Guilty? Guilty? No, every once in a while. I'll, well. I'll throw a zinger too. But, um, but yeah, it's mostly scripted, and, and they, they pick the questions, and, and then we do it. And my favorite is to mess up the handle of whoever. <laughs> we intentionally do that, just so you know. If, you, if, it's, if it's a weird username where you are going to butcher We're your We're not trying username. to be mean. It's just fun. Yeah. No, and it's honestly, it's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I, I go, they could make this so much easier on themselves if they wanted to, but they literally wake up in the morning, they get it all kind of squared away, and it's happening in real time. Like, we sit around for that entire day and wait for the script to roll in, and yes, then they've yes. got an audio engineer, and we just kind of roll, and it's an ensemble record, and we all just do our parts, and then they put the little animations to it, and they, they, they yeah, it's, it's nuts. It's an entire team of people that are making all of that happen, and we just have the fun part. Yeah, and in between, like, we retweet. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Thank you. Love that. 12 minutes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Should we rapid 12 fire? Yeah, 12 minutes. Okay. Let's see what we super can fast, do. Super fast. We'll do. Oh, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> How are you? Oh, you're starting arguments? Okay, what do you got? Best classic game. Best classic game? Sonic, Sonic 2. Yes. <laughs> Sonic 2. Okay. Okay. Your experience of that. I got you. I got you. Best classic game. Sonic the Hedgehog. 
I think the original one that Dave has on is easily my favorite because it's just so cool to play, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, that was a great question. Thank you so much. Couldn't agree no, that more. That was a good one. That was a good well, one. It was sort of a like, good thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, my question is, what's your Sonic and Tails favorite holiday? Ooh, favorite holiday. Favorite holiday. Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Holiday All right. <laughs> Search the web for is there a national chili dog day? <gasps> <laughs> it's got to be chili dog day. <laughs> That's awesome. Which it, is it, it, you've got to be kidding me. It was literally Thursday. Are you Stop joking? Me. Seriously? Then and they didn't have a chili dog eating contest here? We could have been doing that. You the and Jaleel could have been the whole time. chili dogs. Oh, my gosh. No, that would have very, that would have been for a very different panel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Roger live from the restroom. <laughs> Why does it all sound all echoey? Dog, Where is that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I can gotta take go. it. I can gotta take it. Gotta go. <laughs> I would say National Chili Dog Day. That's awesome. Which was apparently last Thursday. Yeah. Thank you for that, yeah. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're running to the bathroom with the drowning music playing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it was no. perfect. You're on fire, man. You're... No. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, I'd like to say that I, uh, I really love your work. And, uh, talking to me. Oh, sorry. Is... Talking to me. Just, I think she's talking to me. There. Okay. My Thank question you. is, uh, what kind of music would uh, your characters would listen to? Oh. oh, speed metal. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, classic rock. I agree with classic that. Classic rock. I agree with classic that. Classic rock. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Solid. Thank I mean, Crush 40 is kind of, yeah. kind of speed metal when you think about it. Thank you. Fast. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, Sonic has always been a really big part of my life. Uh, in middle school, uh, the scene of Sonic X where Sonic is picking up Amy and running really fast, and Amy's describing how she feels, finally feeling how fast Sonic goes is what inspired me to start running. Nice. Nice. Um, I really like it. It's how I think. Oh, very cool. Um, my question is, with all the meta humor and stuff, I thought it'd be funny. Do you main yourself in Smash? <laughs> wow. Oh. Wouldn't you? <laughs> I do. I mean, I, when I played Resident Evil, I'm like, I'm always playing Chris. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. If someone else is Sheva, I'm Chris. Yeah. It's like, yes, of course. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> There's too many really buttons don't. on this controller. <laughs> Someone explain it to me. Do you need Tails buttons? isn't I don't going know where I want <laughs> Tails to go. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. I think, yes. I think that is nice because you, you automatically go like dibs. And who gets to argue with you? Yeah, ex right? No, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nobody. Yeah, you're like, I'm nobody. Crazy. Well, you're like, yeah, exactly. Like, no, it's, I'm Sonic. Yeah, that's how that works. That's the guy that throws so rocks at Colleen, people. Colleen, <laughs> Colleen, <laughs> Colleen. I can hear you. you. Okay, Colleen, maining is what the young Meaning. folk refer to as when they play a primary character over and over again in a video game. Thank you. <laughs> in a like, video game. I no. thought maybe you wanted Colleen, a long mane Colleen, of hair. A I don't game. know. They sometimes refer to it as an interactive game. I'm going to go home now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Run fast. Not now. I, I, yeah. Oh, gosh. I mean, I just in general Obedient, with the running, though. yes. Obedient. Hello. Hi. Um, we can do this. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, my gosh. I just wanted to ask what Nobody else line up. Sorry. Just wanted to ask, um, the, vo I, the voice direction being different in Frontiers, do you think how that, that's how the voice direction is going to be going forward? I would have no idea. I mean, honestly, my job, our job is to show up and listen, and they tell us, and we respond and react, and we hopefully do a good job for our director and for the producers. And, and so, I, I don't know. I mean, evidence of, like, the last uh, Sonic Twitter takeover, mm -hmm. or X takeover now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the last sort of social media thing we did, we were like, what are we doing? Blending? Are we blending, like, what we've done in the past with the Frontiers voice? Or the, and they were like, yeah, maybe we should do that. They, yeah, they didn't know what to say. They were like, yeah. um, like oh, hold yeah. please. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh yeah, we didn't think about that. So who knows? Gotcha. Who knows? Thank you very much. Thank you. Good Thank question. You. Hello. Hi. Sorry. Can you hear me? Or Yes. Okay. Hi. We went earlier, but that's nice to answer it. I don't know. Yeah. Who's? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, who is it? Is it your mom? Anyway. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I just wanted to, like, it was, it's a silly question, but what do you think Tails and um, Sonic's favorite bubble tea would be? Boba tea. What, what, what? Boba tea. What would Sonic Lavender. Tails... Lavender? Oh, Lavender? Yes, with the squishies. Nice. Yes. <laughs> the squishy, squishy. With the squishies. I like it. The chili tapioca. dog. Chili dog. Little, Whoa. little chili dog. Chili dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Boba tea is disgusting to me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't do it. It's just Greg, like. Greg, would actually Greg, probably pick up mint, right? The giant straw and the. Blah, 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 like the it's no. <laughs> the I'm stuff trying, that's just coming pearls? up through the straw. I can't. So uh, uh, I'm Popping just going to. Pearls? No. No. Chili dog. Or they're going to make chili dog boba balls. What are those things? What are those things? I don't, I don't do it either. My daughter now loves them. Now I feel them. like the old guy up here going, like, what's in this, this drink? See what you do, Roger. I don't need soft boogers in my drink really going up. wide straw. In my straw. Chili dog boba balls. Just put Skittles in the bottom. Yes. Well, you've, you've brought this on yourselves. <laughs> Someone is going to make Thank this, you. and they're going to bring it to you at a show. I just oh. want to warn you. Oh, then it's going to be a whole other podcast yet again. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Amy again. Yes. Um, what headcanons do you guys have for your characters? What what now? Um, <laughs> headcanons, like, what do you, like, think that... Your character, I don't know how to explain. Now we both feel what, old. What do you, what do you, <laughs> what do you think is true about your character that's not yeah, necessarily written Yeah, for like Sonic and Tails. Search the web for head cannons. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do. Don't do that. Don't, don't do, do that. that. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> head cannons? Yes. Yes. Just like, what do what you it? believe your characters would do or that's not like? Official yeah, or just not official. Yeah. Probably spend all day googling what head cannons are. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. He would invent head cannons? Oh, yeah, there you go. He would, like, make yeah, them. Yeah. yeah, he'd make a machine to tell people what head cannons were. Yeah. And who, and who's there is, was there what works for them there? Sorry. Uh, I, w- I want to explain it, but that was way funnier, so. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm just not cool. It's not working. Let me just hit it. Hello. I found you, Faker. Faker? <laughs> you are the fake hedgehog around here. Okay, we can do this. Okay. Five minutes. Hello. What would a day with Shadow the Hedgehog look like with y'all? Scary. Your date? Yeah, it'd be very scary. Scary. It'd be dark. We'd be going to like a Cure concert. Wow. <laughs> just be like, yeah, we'd be in black trench coats all day long and just like. Very dark. A dark eye shadow and a very lot of emo. like, you know, poetry. And uh, it'd be boring. It'd be boring. <laughs> I love it. Boring. I love it. Very shadow. <laughs> I tried my Thank best you. to be Thank Shadow Mimi. Hello. Hello, Amy. Hello. Uh, my name is Colleen. Hi, Colleen. Uh, Hello, best weird. name. No, right? Weird. Um, so, uh, you guys have inspired me to do so much. Oh. Um, I, I got to say that. And now I need to ask the most important question. Okay. Mm. Uh, what toppings do you think would make the ideal chili dog? Boba tea. <laughs> <laughs> Boba for sure. Just the slimy the squishies. all booger uh, things that are yeah. <laughs> 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 mm, tapioca. Yes. I can taste tapioca it. Tapioca right is what it is. Yeah. Cheese for me, please. Cheese. Okay. Cheese. Okay. Cheese. No onions. Keep them away. Wow. Blech. Blech. Well played. But definitely boba. Boba. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is. Thank you. Skittles. Yes. Mm. Hey, y'all. First of all, love what y'all do. You're awesome. Thank you. Uh, my question is, you said y'all played the games before, right? Yes. Of course. What would you say is your favorite opening scene? Ooh. Like the CG scene. <sighs> That one, yes, that one, that one. I like that. Where Sonic goes. Just, there's so many pick from. I just can't decide. It's really. What's your favorite? <laughs> Probably the opening from Unleashed. From Unleashed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a good one. That's, That's a good one. I know. I know. I can't take credit for it. So I know. Uh, well. What are you gonna do? Well. The wear hog and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's yeah. like, what are you gonna do? You still have a favorite. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe you'll reissue that. someday. Who knows? Well done. Thank you. Talk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to, to meet you guys. How does it feel voicing the rival of Mario? <laughs> <laughs> Raleigh, you guys have been great. <laughs> Just. Nintendo. I don't know. Why don't you ask yeah. Charles how it feels being the rival of Sonic? <laughs> How does it feel voicing a second-rate character? No. Ooh. Uh, no, gosh. Oh, come <laughs> on. Shots fired. No, it's so, thrown. It's so cool. It's like, it's like and, and Charles and I are our friends, and we've like talked about this all the time. It's like, what on earth is going on in life to where we get to be a part of these, like, like these icons of gaming? I mean, you talk about it between Nintendo and Sega, and, and at a time when video games were becoming so massive, it's like, to get to voice these characters that are just like so iconic to it's that awesome. era, it's incredible. Yeah. Okay, Love thanks. It. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Hello. 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 Moonheart. Moonheart. Hey. Well done. <laughs> okay. reference. Yeah, so uh, what did you think about when Chris Pratt was revealed as Mario way back in the day? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it felt quite familiar. I'll tell you that much. 
I mean, that's that's this industry. That's what happens. It's like exactly. they, they go for celebrities because there's a lot of money that it's riding on these things, and they they worry about you know whether or not people are going to show up, and they and if they just go, oh, well, we must get big names. See, they're crying over it. <laughs> yeah. Thank it. you very much, and thank have you. a great rest of your day, everyone. Well, thank you. Thank you. We can do it. Hi, sorry. Hi. Hi. I am Tails. Hi. I was wondering um, if you could make any Sonic character, um, like your own Sonic character, what would it be? Ooh. Like make it up? Like make my own? Like, huh? I think they need a dog. Oh, I would love that. Oh, what do do? A corgi. Just because they're so ridiculous. <laughs> I would make a miniature version of Big the Cat. Whoa. It would be Little the Cat. Yes, a little tiny, like little a little cat. tiny cat. Amazing. Or why don't we combine both worlds and it's Tiny the Pomeranian. <laughs> you good? This is not yippee yappy because go. I can't. Good question. We want good that. question. Yeah. Thank but you. I love your, I love your kitty you. cat socks and this your cape amazing. and your glowy ears. This is amazing. I well love done. It. Love nice it. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Too. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, I I wasn't too big into the video games, but I know that Sonic truly inspires me and just gives me a lot of motivation just for anything. What was you two's driving force of motivation throughout your whole career? I know it's kind of a big question, but money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you beat me to it. Yeah, trying to pay the bills. <laughs> two kids in college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that'll motivate you easily. Uh, easily. Just striving and and just like and just like. Auditioning is like proving to yourself that you can achieve something and that you can kind of execute on something, make a choice that somebody likes. I, yeah. ab I absolutely love, love, love what I do. And so any day that I get to do it is yippee. I mean, it's just so much fun. I mean, I feel like, we, like we're so lucky. We have the best job ever. So, I, it, you know, is, are there definitely some low times? For sure. Like you feel, I'm like, well, I guess that was it. I had a good run and... You know, there are those times you just feel like that. It was like, what? am I ever going to book anything again? It happens. But, you know, I just, I absolutely love it. And then, I yeah, you that. get a handful that. of auditions and you're like, maybe this will be the one. You just never know. Yes or no question from here on out. Yes or no question. Yes or no question. Yes. We can Thank do this. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no. <laughs> maybe. No, I'm sorry. No, no. Go for it. You can do it. You can do it. Sorry. You can do it. So I was just wondering, what is, was your favorite Sonic uh, thing to record, like a movie, TV, or video game? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. All of them. All of them. Yes. All we get to be above. Sonic the Hedgehog and Tails. Yes. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hold on. First, there we go. When will season three of a Sonic Prime will be made? Ooh, will, will there be a Prime Sonic movie? Prime movie? We That's would not know. That's a good know. question. Like, when will... It'll be made. When is the next season of Sonic Prime being made? We don't. That we would not know. No. That is a Canadian no. production. We are not Canadian. So we're not we're not up there doing it in Canada. Eh? Oh, there, no way. Oh, so we're not like. Sorry. Yeah, so I don't get to. I know. Apologies to all the Canadians. Yeah. <laughs> Also We're dating a Canadian, they did, so it, kind they, of, did, yeah. they did that yeah. whole show in Canada, and so everyone that worked on the show had to be Canadian, and we are not Canadian. Not Canadian. We're American. I wouldn't know. So. But if you follow Devin Mack on Twitter, he might know, and he very he would. likely would be the one to post about it if he knows and is approved to share that information, so I would look for Devin Mack. There we go. Who's doing a fantastic job, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so good. The, the whole show is amazing. But yeah, I wish I could tell you. I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, they don't want to tell us anything. Thank you. Sorry, good question, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. Yes or no is what oh. we got. Yes or no, we can do this. So does it give you guys you know, fulfillment, joy, knowing that your characters have become comfort characters for a lot of people? I mean, I started watching Sonic when I was nine, and now I'm 22, and I'm a race car driver, so got to go fast is stuck with me. No! <laughs> yes, got to go fast. That well was done. very well, well done. done. That's awesome. And I'm a huge fan of racing, so I'm nice. jealous of you. I love it. I love it. Formula One. Oh, right, well, hey. man. He went fast. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hi, Mateo. guys. Oh, we're past our time. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. oh how are you guys doing today? Are we violating? We are totally violating. We're violating. We're violating. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're in oh, trouble. God. We got to take the picture. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, quick, quick, quick. So fast. Oh, how are you guys doing today? Well, we're yes. great. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, um, my, my question is, um, uh, I really do like um, your work as... That's a statement. As so Sonic and Tail. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, uh, I want to know, um, when you voice your characters or any other characters, um, do you guys...
guys uh, use your normal voice or do you change uh, your voice uh, for different characters or? Well, I depends on the character. So yes, go. And yeah. yes, the worst thing that that, that, that voice actors are, are told to do is to sound normal because we're like, I don't know what normal what is. That is. That I have no idea. Like this, it's okay. too many things going on. We, yes, so, no, no, yes, maybe, yes, no, maybe, Could be. definitely once Not in college sure. and boxers. Here's what